Well, we started building the Rawhide Portable Corral 11 years ago. And we started here in Abilene, my hometown. And uh, you know, I saw the need for a portable corral for smaller ranchers, that's what I was thinking of initially. But you know, didn't have a lot of cattle and didn't want to go through the expense of building that permanent system. But uh, I'd come up with my pinning system when I was doing the portable arena setups for, for rodeo and televised bull ridings. And uh, that's what gave me the idea to, to do something in a portable corral. And uh, I, I didn't realize when I invented it that I was gonna be able to help ranchers of all sizes. Because as I started building these systems, I realized I could make the largest portable corral on wheels that had ever existed. So we went from the small farmer and rancher to cattlemen that you know catch 600 cows in Montana. Next on The American Rancher, we travel to Kansas and learn about the highly versatile Rawhide Portable Corral System. Welcome to the American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. On today's show, we're going to meet John and Mary McDonald from Abilene, Kansas, and learn about the Rawhide Portable Corral system that they've been manufacturing for more than 10 years. The Rawhide Portable Corral is a fantastic system designed to enable one person to set it up in about 10 minutes. The self-contained unit has all the hydraulics and wheels you need for transport and use without the lifting and cranking. John McDonald knows livestock. I remember him from the rodeo business, and this is a pretty sharp invention. We're going to learn about it firsthand from John and others. We've got a good show for you today. We're glad you joined us. Stay tuned. We'll be back after these words. Welcome back to the American Rancher. More and more cattlemen are carrying out their operations using land that is leased or limited in terms of facilities to handle livestock. Today we'll meet John McDonald and learn about the Rawhide Portable Corral system that he's designed which is helping ranchers overcome cattle handling problems in a very mobile way. When I invented the Rawhide Portable Corral, my idea was that Farmers and ranchers having small pastures and multiple pastures, that they'd have something that they could do all the work that they could do with the system if they were at their house with a system that was portable. I wanted a system that was large in size, multiple pins for sorting of your livestock, the ability to, to give something a shot if you had a foot rod or a pink eye, that you would be able to set the corral up, do the sorting, and then have an alley of some kind that you could actually give the animal its vaccination. This system is designed to be set up by a single person in about 10 minutes. Depending on the location, soggy ground, tall grass, sandy terrain, it might take a little longer, but it still beats setting up portable panels. The Rawhide Portable Corral is its own trailer. It has a built-in alley, mounted head gate if the customer desires, along with the option of a built-in load and chute if the customer desires. All this having a corral with multiple pins with the ability to load, sort, and feed the alley to the loading chute or the head gate, whatever the customer might have on their system. All of this is done in one unit. Rawhide Portable Corral of Abilene, Kansas has been in business for the last 11 years, and they are proud to serve stockmen with their premier portable livestock corral system. They are extremely excited about their latest model. The Rawhide Processor by John McDonald offers three sizes, ranging from the standard 50 to 60 cow-calf capacity, large 80 to 100 cow-calf capacity, and the super large 140 cow-calf capacity. Once you've taken the mainframe of the Rawhide Portable Trail System off the transport wheels and set it on the ground, the racks have then left the panels, and then you're ready to roll the panels open from the system.
the small wheels on the panels are solid rubber with a, with a grease dirt where you can grease the wheel for ease of rolling and you never have to worry about having a flat. Rawhide Portable Corral is the first hydraulic corral and still the largest. It comes in three sizes. You can pull it on the highway at speed limit. It fits through any gate your pickup can drive through. It's stable on uneven terrain and has wheels on each panel. The fully operational solar battery powered electric over hydraulic system eliminates lifting, cranking, and saves time. John McDonald is the original designer of the Rawhide Portable Corrals and has really outdone himself with this new design. The Rawhide processor has a permanent sheeted adjustable alley to aid with working your livestock on site and in the field. The adjustable alley can be sized from 32 inches down to 16 inches, either manually or hydraulically. You can even add a self-contained loading chute to the system. All Rawhide portable corrals come with an adjustable alley sheeted in the, in the alley, regardless of whether the corral has a head gate or not. This particular corral has a hydraulic alley, so you can use the alley like a squeeze chute to immobilize cattle once you've run them in the chute and you want to catch their head. The corral has several man and pass gates to aid in human movement about the system. On all rawhide portable corrals, we have the permanent sheeted alley with an adjustable panel. This particular corral has the hydraulic adjustable alley. All rawhides have a built-in palpation gate, preg check cows that latches on the opposite side of the gate. We also have an access gate to the front of the palpation gate for cutting bulls and access to the back end of livestock, shorter livestock that you have in the front end of the alley. As well as the two ga access gates on all rawhide portable corrals on, the, on this side, we also have a no back that works for the sheeted portion of the alley to capture four or five smaller calves or two large cows in this area while you're working the livestock. If you like to lure your cattle with feed, the rawhide can be driven completely through and out the opposite end. John and Mary McDonald were both raised in the Abilene, Kansas area. John has his roots in rodeo, having ridden rough stock all of his younger years. John did all of the first televised bull riding arena setups in the 1990s for bull riders only, and also worked the PRCA as well. It was during this time that John gained a lot of experience handling bucking bulls and got to know which systems worked and what did not. All of our panels are six foot tall. The panels have solid rubber wheels, so you don't have to worry about flats. The, uh, the material is all two inch round 14 gauge, coped and saddled for strength. We have real bow gates on our system for loading out goosenecks or, or sorting with. The bow gates are made of two and three eighths schedule 40 pipe with the gate itself, again, made out of two inch round 14 gauge like the panels. The gooseneck on the system is made of two by six, three sixteenths rectangle tube, all gusseted with two by two square tubing, three sixteenths on the top and the bottom for the support of the front end of the system when it's in transport as a trailer. We've also got our power unit on the front of the system with your electric over hydraulic power unit, deep cycle battery with a solar panel. The Rawhide Portable Corral in transport is 30 feet long and eight and a half feet wide. The Corral weighs anywhere from 7,500 pounds to 10,000 pounds, depending on the model that the customer orders. We have 16 inch transport wheels on the back end with greasable hubs and a heavy highway hub to carry the weight of the Rawhide Portable Corral. One person can set up the Rawhide Portable Corral in about 10 minutes and be ready to contain 150 to 400 head of cattle without lifting a panel. The Rawhide can form two, three, and even four pens to aid with sorting your livestock. The Rawhide Corrals are easy to set up, utilizing electric over hydraulic cylinders on the back end and the front of the unit. 
The 16-inch transport wheels are permanent, retracting up and down with the flip of a switch. Would you rather drive your cattle to the pen or drive your pen to the cattle? I've really got this thing designed to where pretty much anybody can set it up. You can actually fold a panel the opposite direction that it came from and it'll still fold back up flush against that panel. So sometimes customers will get in a big hurry to fold their corral up and they might fold it up backwards. But if you follow the simple instructions that we give when, when you leave with your corral, it's pretty easy to fold it back up. And uh, you only have so much room on your rack, so you, you get it done and, and it's ready to go down the highway. The Rawhide Portable Corral has many options for pin configurations as well as pin size. The corral is raised and lowered with an electric over hydraulic power unit. It's a real worker. We'll visit the shop where they build them when we return. You're watching The American Rancher. Stay with us. Welcome back to The American Rancher. John and Mary McDonald have a great team that manufactures the Rawhide Portable Corral right there in Abilene, Kansas. Precise craftsmanship with attention to detail goes into every unit. Here's more on our story. John and Mary have a very talented and conscientious staff in Abilene, Kansas that creates each Rawhide Portable Corral system from the ground up. Precise work at every stage of production ensures a very solid and dependable tool for livestock handling. We have the small parts fabrication part of the plant. We have the uh, main fa frame fabrication part of the plant. And then we have a day that we take to build the panels for the system. Uh, we also have the paint part of the manufacturing plant that uh, is day to day with prep and cleanup and then paint of the system. Uh, with our 10 employees, it's, uh, we're busy all of the time. We, we have a couple of young guys just out of Votech that do some welding for us, as well as some older gentlemen that have welded for 20 some years. And uh, there's a lot to the Rawhide Portable Crow with its mainframe structure, all the moving parts with our hydraulic alley, with the hydraulic transport wheels on the back. Uh, there's, there's quite a little bit to it. This is the very first Rawhide Portable Crow that I built 11 years ago. With this first system, the panels are essentially the same. You have on this particular unit a 20 foot panel. This particular unit had one main frame that housed the panels as far as a rack is concerned. Our racks would fold off of the main frame, fold the panels then over the racks, chain, and then hydraulically raise and lower this system with the same way that we do rawhide today. But in, in this unit, you would have to physically remove your transport wheels and roll those out of your way and then reverse the button, the process, and set the frame back down on the ground. Uh, I've simplified that on the new rawhide with the transport wheels hydraulically raising and lowering as opposed to having to physically take the wheels off and move. And this particular unit was a bumper pull, whereas we're all goosenecks now. On our rawhide portable curl transport wheels, we have a heavy duty highway hub with, with the greasable Zerk in the hub with an eight bolt pattern transport wheel, 16 inch, that's interchangeable with your livestock trailer spare that you might have around the farm if you would happen to need to change these tires out. A feature I've just recently changed to make it easier on the, on the customer. The axles on our transport wheels are made of two by four, three sixteenths material with a hydraulic cylinder mounted to the two and three eight schedule 40 pipe that raises and lowers the transport wheel to allow us to set our mainframe down on the ground for, to, to serve as the anchor for the equipment when we're rolling open the rawhide panels. This particular Krell has a 16 inch cylinder that at full extension pushes your transport wheel axle into position for transport with a one inch spacer and one inch round schedule 80 that we use for a locking device to, to lock this for transport when you're going down the highways.
it's a heck of a lot easier on the rawhide portable corral to raise and lower the unit when it's in transport mode to put it on your pickup with our electric over hydraulic power unit that we have on the system. You just have to, with the press of a button, raise and lower the system. Business is great. We've been super busy the last couple years, especially since John's made this new version, the Rawhide processor. We do not have any dealers. We sell direct, so customers need to call me here at our office in Abilene, Kansas, and we will set up the uh, purchase, and they either come here to pick them up or we can deliver if needed, but we have no dealers anywhere, so we only deal with our customers directly. We've sold nationwide, we have. We've got them in California, Washington State, South Texas, Florida, Virginia, um, the Dakotas, Montana. We're, we're pretty much everywhere. I do enjoy the business. I, I did used to work full time otherwise. In 2005, I quit to help John with the business. So I do enjoy it. it it's a part of our life now. It's what we do. And um, yeah, it's, it's been great. I found after eight, nine years of building the system that customers were really using that little temporary alley. So that's why now in Rawhide of today, we have a permanent sheeted alley that affords me the ability to put a built-in head gate on one end and the system can carry it, or we can have the built-in loading chute and then we have system enough to carry it because now we have a stronger system with two frames than what I had in the original Rawhide. We had a neighbor that owned a Rawhide corral and we borrowed it and we really liked it and so we just decided instead of bothering him all the time, we'd, get, we'd purchase one of our own. If we're using it here and, and we need to go catch cattle in a pasture, we can fold her right up and, and go catch the cattle in the pasture and, and the next afternoon we can load cattle out here. We handled corral panels for years and, and that's hard work and this makes it really easy. It's much safer. You don't have to worry about a steer going under a panel or over a panel or moving the panels out and hitting you. It just, it, it's a safety factor. I'd say anytime there's a lady in the operation, they need one. Most of the cattle are, are weighing eight and a half to nine. It's like mm -hmm. Joyce says, we can't overemphasize how much safety there is to, to handling cattle that big. You know, you can be right in behind them, behind a gate, right in with them and, and we, it's, it's very safe. It was a very good investment. I've had a rawhide corral for five years. We, I watched John when he built, I guess, one of the very first ones. And we rent grass around Solana, a lot of small pastures, no facilities to work. So we had to gather up panels and try to make a temporary corral. And when we bought this, now we can go set up and put, catch the cows and come home. It's uh, really a great deal. As I get older, and a lot of us ranchers are older, as, as we get older, it, it's just a lot more convenient. And plus, you, you don't run the risk of getting hurt. Wouldn't you rather have the option of driving your pen to the cattle rather than trail driving your cattle to the pen? John and Mary invite you to come during the wonderful fall days ahead and see the Rawhide Portable Corral at a number of fairs, farm shows and expositions beginning in September. Made start to finish in Abilene, Kansas, USA, the Rawhide Portable Corral will be on exhibit in Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, Georgia, and Oklahoma in the coming weeks. Extremely versatile, the Rawhide Portable Corral is a perfect tool for ranchers who operate out in big country and for those who lease land where permanent corrals aren't available. I guess they say copy is a form of flattery. Um, I guess I've been flattered a lot because I did develop the first ever hydraulic portable corral and the fastest, largest, and the most pins available in one system. And, uh, you know, we're proud of that. And, uh, and it does work the way we wanted it to. We'd like to thank John and Mary McDonald for being with us on the show today and showing us the fantastic Rawhide Portable Corral System. This is truly an innovative and versatile piece of equipment for today's stockmen. 
Check them out on the web today at rawhideportablecorral.com. That's about all the time we have. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or check us out on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Pam Minnick, and I'll see you next time.